Okay, so what we're going to do today is use Photoshop plus your scanner to create an interesting star field effect for your uh, projects, you know, relating to space and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is open up Photoshop and you need to activate your scanner software. You need to go to the file menu, select import, and then your scanner should be listed there. Mine is the HP Office Jet 6300 Twain. So go ahead and click on the name of your scanner. Your scanner's particular software will start up and um, we can get started. So you see mine automatically starts to create a preview of what's on the glass. And the trick here is that we're going to scan nothing and use various Photoshop tricks to make something from it. So the, my preview is loading up. Now, the important part is we need to scan as millions of colors. Even though there's nothing there, really. We need to scan as millions of colors. So I'm going to leave that setting alone. But I think my setting of 200 dpi is a little too much. For quickness's sake, I'm going to change the resolution down to, to the basic. So in my example, it's 75 dpi. After I selected that, I'm going to accept it. It's actually going to scan and give me a document here in Photoshop. So it looks like an empty document. There's actually a bunch of information that we don't really see in the document. And if you see, we will zoom in a little bit. And here is the trick. We need to turn this white background into a black background by going to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. This reverses all of the colors. So now the white background is a black background. And look at this. All of this stuff that was in the scan is now kind of showing up a little bit better. So those little points we're going to use to create our star field. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go to Insert Adjustments Equalize. This will make more of this stuff show up. So you see how instantly we have all of these little dots all over our document. Much better than it was before. But we can do better. I'm going to zoom out and I feel that I need to crop the image a little bit. So those weird edges don't show up in my document. So I'm going to get the crop tool and select the part of my image that is uh, excluding the very edges of the document. So select it and then double click your selection to actually crop it. The trick here is I'm going to duplicate a layer. So you go to this option here and select duplicate layer. The name doesn't matter. Just click OK. So we've got another copy of the same layer. I'm going to change my layer options the blending mode that is to screen. This in effect makes the dots stand out even more. So I'm going to do it the same thing one more time. Duplicate the same layer, name doesn't matter, and then change its mode to screen again. You see how all of those dots are appearing much more visibly. I'm going to zoom in, take a quick look around. Looks nice. So we started with nothing and we have something. So I'm going to now flatten my image so it's back down to one layer. And I can do a few more things. Let's say we want to create another duplicate of the same layer. And this time I'm going to rotate the layer. So let's go to Edit, Free Transform. This will allow me to rotate the image. So there, I rotate it a little bit. Double click to confirm it and change the blending mode to screen again. We zoom in, we see that those dots have appeared yet again. We're layering stars upon stars. I'm going to do that one more time. Duplicate the same layer. It's already set the screen, that's a good time saver, and now I want to go to Edit, Transform, either Flip Horizontal or Flip Vertical. So here I mirrored my layer, I flipped it horizontal. 
if I move around my image, I've got a bunch of little dots simulating stars. I'm going to flatten the image one more time to get me back to one layer. Now I'm going to go in and fix up the stars that look too perfect. So here I am with my brush tool, black color, and I'm just going to go in and remove the stars that are too symmetrical. For example, this group here in the middle looks a little fake. So I'm going to go in, different parts of the image, just take out stuff that stands out, that looks a little fake, too perfect. This little piece here. You can remove it completely, or just pieces of it. This is completely subjective, so change it as you wish. But you see how we started with nothing, and we ended up with an interesting, pretty quick star field. Well, what can I do with the image? At this point, I'm going to bring in another image. I'm going to open up an image of a spaceship that I have. So that's File, Open, and I have this image that's on a transparent background, which I will simply move from this document to my Starfield document with my Move tool. So I'm going to move this window here, get my Move tool, and I'm going to click and drag and drop from one document to the other. I'm going to close this one. I won't no longer need it. I'm going to work exclusively with this one. So this one looks pretty nice. Look at that. See how that starship is on my star field? If you press tab, it temporarily hides all of your panels, all of your palettes, to give you more, more view of uh, what you're doing. I'm going to crop. So bring in my crop tool one more time draw a box around what I want to keep, double click it, and there it is, it's cropped. So here's how to make a star field using Photoshop and an empty scanner.